When doing flame atomic absorption spectroscopy, it's important that the hollow cathode lamp light source goes directly across the burner. Um, and so it's good to have, it's necessary to have proper burner head alignment. And in order to align the burner head, it's a, there's a useful tool, which is a business card with um, uh, some measurements on it, a vertical line and some horizontal lines. We're going to make sure that the hollow cathode lamp light is the same at the front of the burner head and the back of the burner head. Same height and uh, position uh, horizontally across the burner. So we're gonna take the vertical line of, on the alignment card and place it um, in line with the slot on the burner head. And we're going to see where the position of the light source is. So I'd say the center of that light source is about maybe six milliliters vertically. Um, and it looks centered on that uh, vertical line. We go to this end. Um, working on the angles here. Just sort of checking. It uh, looks like um, we have good alignment, so we're about six milliliter, millimeters centered, um, and then uh, good alignment left and right. Should this be misaligned, you would see maybe the burner head something like this. This is extreme, but if we align up the burner head with the vertical line on the card, uh, you'll see that it's the, the light source is completely out of whack. So it would be it required to twist the burner head into place. Check that alignment. I can tell you right now, I don't like that. It's getting better. There, I like that, it looks centered. And then check the other end as well. And that is how you align the burner head.